You know, for once, I think that Illumination did a pretty good job making a movie. The Addams Family is the latest film by Illumination, the studio that brought you Despicable Me and the movie Sing, two uh, films that I actually very much that I actually enjoy. Sing a little bit less than the Despicable Me movies. I like Despicable Me two best of them all. Just throwing that out there. That's my personal opinion on the matter. This movie is actually really. Good. This is coming from the standpoint of a guy that doesn't like Illumination. I haven't really enjoyed a lot of the movies that they've put out, and overall the only ones that I have ostensibly enjoyed are the Despicable Me movies and Sing a little bit, but that's just because I like cover songs, and so I enjoyed Sing more for the music than the actual plot of the movie. This movie is, for the most part, about discovering who you are as a person and basically being true to yourself. If you watch the movie, you'll understand what I mean by that. Um, like, just with how on Wednesday acts and Gomez, Mar Morticia, uh, Pugsley, all of them, the, the way that they're acting in this is very much like self-discovery, like, I need to let you be who you are, not who I want you to be type of movie. I really like that message. I'm, Personally, it just it comes from a place of I think that everyone should be themselves. I don't like people who pretend they are one way and then are actually another. This movie is very, very beautifully animated. It flows very, very well um, from one scene to the next, and it's super creative, which is really easy to do when you have the Adams family because it's the Adams family. Overall, it was very pretty. The I loved the set design. There were a number of moments. The animation was so good. There's a point where a bridge gets like made out of. Uh, spiders and that it just, just looked really cool like the way that they formed together and then like as they were crossing it like started going away behind them it just it looked really really cool and I just I personally loved that the villain in this movie is really easy to predict yeah kids movie I know I shouldn't really be super shocked but like as soon as you see her you know who it is. Like, I'm talking the instant they are on screen. Not a bad thing, just something to point out. Also, this movie's conclusion wrapped up really quickly. Like, really quickly. It basically went from we hate you to we like you like that. I, I don't know, I personally thought it was way too fast. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, maybe it was perfect, I just, I didn't like it. Yeah, that's honestly all I have really to say about this movie. Overall, I thought it was a good kids movie, very enjoyable, some things adults could get from it that I think they would like. Overall, this movie, for me, is higher than I thought, and I would say, for me, I'd say this movie has to roll a 15. Like, yeah, kids movie, I didn't go into it with the highest hopes, still an illumination project, and their remark is all over it, so... That lowers it a little bit, but overall, solid, entertaining film, especially for little kids. Don't know how much adults are going to get from it, but if you like Adam's Family and you like weird stuff, you'll probably enjoy it. Tell me in the comments down below, um, just, what's a movie that you went into no expectations? You just thought it was going to be really horrible, and you actually ended up enjoying yourself quite a bit while watching it. I would just like to know. If you would like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links are going to be in the description down below, as always. And I would just like to say, peace out, my friends.